Well, my Utopians. Ah, there's the beast. <laughs> I'm using new earphones with a microphone attached. Hopefully, uh, Colleen White all sent it to me. Uh, so hopefully we'll get better quality uh, noises. <laughs> there's the old girl. So I gotta move the old girl over behind the beast. And uh, right here is where the circle is going to start. Uh, so we're going to go around here. And it's going to go this way. i got to move the bench because the bench is in the way. And it's going to come to here. So, Druid Circle is going to be here. Go around to where that brick is in the front. And then come around, around to here. So, uh, that's where it's going to be. And uh, I'm getting a bunch of trees, lots of birches and different trees. All going to be planted around in here. Uh, but it's time I made myself my own, uh, my own druid grove, uh, and it's recognized by the government. It'll be recognized as holy, holy ground by the government, obviously. Uh, so and here's these rocks have been here as long as I can remember. So we got to take all the rocks out of the yard that have been here first. Um, they'll be used in the circle for when I'm doing uh, medicines with Mother Moon and our Mother Moon, Sister Moon and and Brother Sun. Well, if I have my own here in my house, then I don't have to. It'll make it a lot easier for me to make these uh, different things that I have to do and stuff. Which is why one of the reasons I'm doing it. Anyway, now I'm going to put this little fireplace that's going to sit right dead center. And as you can see, I'll uh, show you. See the, all the charcoal there. There's this charcoal I use for stuff. So, I mean, it's all wood charcoal, see? And, uh, do prayers and everything with it, and that uh, yeah, makes great charcoal. That's all. That's what. That's where the charcoal comes from, people. <laughs> See, there's a couple more of those bricks. See. But what I was thinking was putting a uh, archway here and uh, having it say. Uh, Druid Grove, but I wanted to put a few bricks that people could walk on coming into the grove because I want to put a few trees along this side, you know. So it's a big job and it's going to take a while, but uh, I just thought I'd show you before I even I started what it's where it's going to be and what it's going to do and all that because uh, I, I like to take you with me when I'm doing stuff and making new products and things. Now maybe maybe no one knows how to make a I never really thought about it but you know making a druid's grove isn't just putting rocks in a circle, you know what I mean? Each rock has a representation, each rock means something. So I thought I would show you that. Uh, and there's a couple more rocks here. This real nice one here. Uh, anyway, each rock means something different, so. And there's an order to be placed in and all that stuff, so. Uh, maybe I could teach you something. <laughs> Alright, talk to you later. Lots of love, respect, and light.